Hello and welcome to Hadoop exam learning resources. In this question, I am going to cover question number 43 from practice paper 1 for AWS Solution Architect professional level exam. These questions are provided by HadoopExam.com. So now let's go to the question or uh, directly and then come back here. You are working in a company called Quick Game INC, which is a giant mobile provider, mobile game provider with millions of users. Quick Game INC use the following AWS services like high performance computing, HPC, analytics and machine learning in backend and not directly linked to a customer facing application or games, this as services and its performance may not impact your customer. However, there are some services you may have a back have in a backend service for a game or mobile application in which network latency has a direct impact on user experience. So what of the below option you would choose for selecting reasons and AWS services for this kind of scenario. So let me go to explanation and then we will uh, discuss more on that. So basically question number 43 is saying uh, explanation is saying you can also split your workload across multiple reasons. So basically divide your uh, workload and multiple reasons like whatever if uh, if you are saying like this workload is not affecting uh, back uh, front users then deploy on this reason and the, this workload which is affecting front user basically uh, those are being affected correct these are not affected and these are affected so what you can do the whatever services you need for which affect front user upload into one reason which is helpful for the requirement like compliance cost uh, latency and all this thing that you can deploy here but the things which are uh, not affecting front user you can deploy here and that could be a low cost solution and additional services which you have and high latency would not affect here basically correct? that is kind of deployment you can do here so let me read here so the same workload may have some component that are sensitive to network latency and some that are not you may determine your you can benefit from both lower network latency and reduced cost at the same time cost at the same time so like let me show you image as well uh, from previous slide so here is slide you can see here correct so what it is here basically the service this is a multi-region deployment one is a Bahrain where the actual users application users are uh, using this application and these are the backend users they don't care the speed and performance basically and uh, they are more using the services for a BI perspective and the backend and the slowness is fine correct so that is what they can use it so now uh, let me uh, go to the explanation again so as shown in the above image it shows serverless application deployed at the Bahrain region so this is you can see this is oh, sorry not this one this is serverless application there is no EC2 instance or anything correct? it's just a lambda is deployed here API gateway is deployed SNS is topic is deployed and DynamoDB is deployed correct here and this is in a Bahrain uh, reason it is deployed here now which has a close proximity to customer base in Riyadh Saudi Arabia application users enjoy a lower latency network connecting to the AWS cloud analytics workloads are deployed in the Ireland region or uh, this is their region name US one Europe West one which has a lower cost for Amazon Redshift and other features so that way we are good for that purpose and this user need to keep quick site Redshift Kinesis Trios and S3 that is that needed here so note that data transfer between region is not free however just consider this thing as well while deciding reason and in this example cost is 0 0.115 dollar per GB when you transfer data from this region to this region However, even with this additional cost factored in, running the analytical workload in Ireland is still more cost effective than running in Bahrain region. You can also benefit from additional capabilities and features that may have not been yet released in Bahrain. So that is what you. So based on this, let's go to the options available. You will use AWS Cloud Front Edge Network. No, this is not needed here. Just for one part it is required, but other part this is not reason with low cost and high latency mm, that is one solution again high cost lowest latency this is for another reason it solves but does not solve both problems reason with farthest from the end customer that is not needed multi-reason deployment 
and disable data transfer between region why do you want to disable data transfer between region you don't want to correct because uh, if data transfer does not happen then how would your backend system would work correct so based on this image you can see here data transfer is happening between sns to kinesis firewalls and there's a vpc pairing as well because in this region one vpc and uh, in this region right? so you remember and few questions back questions we discussed like vpc pairing is allowed across region as well so this is what this image is also showing this is an across region so this questions may arise in your one of the certification exam so that is what you need to remember so that's all about this question number 43 thanks for watching let me submit okay so this is a correct answer here it is showing and same explanation we have also given here so i'm stopping now thank you and wish you all the best for your certification exam again i wanted to read it please visit a uh, quicktechie.com if you are looking for text to speech solution which help you to convert your uh, reading material into an audio book and which is a uh, website ready as well you can get that feature yet to release but here right now the feature whatever is available you can paste your text and you can uh, basically get an mp3 file or oog file from this text we are in process of developing to converting textbook directly in an audio book website which you can host anywhere and as per your comfort you can listen it on mobile or on your computer on your tablet or whatever so that is in process so once it was be released so keep visiting quicktechie.com so once it is released it would be available here as well so that you can subscribe it how would we look and feel somewhat you can uh, understood here based on this radiobook.com uh, this kind of uh, basically format you would see when the this software can would be able to convert your file okay so that's all uh, things would change obviously uh, that may not be exactly same while developing things may would be better than this correct so that we would try to do that so thank you and we are stopping now and wish you all the best for your career